So Virgil, how's it going? It's going pretty well. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's, it's nice to be being here in, in India. Uh, the weather here is actually is is pretty great. Yeah, I was um, so I was in Delhi last year, and it was the weather there was less mm. great. But here, it's, it's actually very pleasant. Exciting. Mm. Yeah. Um, no, no, there's there's a lot of uh, enthusiasm for 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 the things here, especially like it like so. Uh, India is known for having you know kind of a strong technical talent pool, and uh, and they're also kind of close to areas where you know where corruption is kind of an issue. So I'm like, oh well, you know, we can help you with that, and um, yeah. So uh, I uh, I think there's a lot of possibilities for India and blockchain. So what's your story? Like, how did you first find out about Ethereum and Oh, uh, sure. Well, so I joined the foundation about two years ago, and so I uh, I actually knew Vitalik before I knew Ethereum. Yeah, so I knew uh, so I knew Vitalik so back when like Mastercoin and Bitcoin were like the thing, and uh, so so when I was a grad student um, in Los Angeles, uh, I read an article in Bitcoin Magazine written written by Vitalik. And uh, I emailed him saying, hey, you know, good article, you know, thumbs up, I, I, I learned a lot. And, and, uh, and he wrote back saying, oh, 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 I, I see you're at Caltech. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm there. And he said, he said, he said oh, 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 I'm visiting L.A. Uh, a month from now. Can I stay with you? And I'm like, I'm kind of weird, but sure, why not? You know, and cause I always fear, well, well, if he's, if he's completely crazy, I can always, I can always, you know, um, um, kick him out. So yeah, so 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 he showed up and he was like, you know, this 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 you know this this young 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 scrawny boy, and I was just like, oh okay, yeah sure, and so you know, and um, and I got, got a little access card for 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 Caltech, and and yeah, so I did my research during the day, and we talked about Bitcoin at night, and so we, we did that for I don't know maybe maybe, maybe about a month something like that. Mm, that must have been some great conversations. Uh yeah yeah, and. Um, yeah, so I remember like shortly after that, he sent me the, the first idea for Ethereum. And I actually told him not to do it. Yeah, I said it was too ambitious. Yeah, so I counseled him against it. I remember I, I wanted the language to be a Turing incomplete, and I wanted there to be less storage. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, so Vitalik uh, ignored me, and he, went off, he, and he went off anyway. Yeah, so, uh, you know, and I guess, I guess like a, a, a few years later, um, Vitalik, he eventually made me an offer that I, I couldn't refuse, and 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 I, and I joined Ethereum, and it's probably it's actually been the best job job I've, I've ever had. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, so so I'm really I'm I'm really glad. Yeah, I, I don't I don't plan on leave, leaving Ethereum any anytime soon. I think there's a, there's a lot of great work to be doing here. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't know, so so that's 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 how how how, how I got into it. Mm. Um, if I were to say. Well, okay, so I, I, I will tell you what got me into Bitcoin. That, that, that may be a better, a better question. Mm -hmm. So I got into Bitcoin uh, not, not due to finance. I got into it from, from, um, from abuse of power. So I got into it from, uh, so this is from the WikiLeaks cables. So when the first WikiLeaks leak came out, uh, the, the domain WikiLeaks.org was briefly taken away. Yeah, and I was, um, and I'm like, oh, no, you're not, you're not supposed to do that. Like, you know, like, I mean, I understand, I understand if you hate someone, and I totally get it, but you can't, like, take away, like, their address. Like, that's just, that's just, you know, that's like, that's like, that's like taking away someone's GPS coordinates. I mean, like, no, no, no. I mean, I understand you, you can hate someone, but, like, you know, you can't, I mean, I mean, you can't stop the mail. Right. That's just, that's just, that's just wrong. And um, so I was interested in this thing called Namecoin. So uh, Namecoin was a derivative of Bitcoin. That allowed you to have uh, uh, domains uh, registrable on, on, on a blockchain, and I was like, "Oh, well, that, that's right, because it, it solved the, the WikiLeaks.org problem." And I was like, "Oh, well, that's great." I said, "Oh, well, what's this name coin thing?" Said, oh, it's based on this thing called Bitcoin. And I'm like, "Oh, okay. Well, then I learned about Bitcoin." And so, and that's when I started reading about um, things from Bitcoin Magazine. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. So 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 I went from name coin to Bitcoin to Ethereum. Actually, no, wait, no, no, no. From name coin to Bitcoin to Vitalik to Ethereum. Yeah, mm. that's 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 how I went. The flow is a uh, is, is is a good one. Yeah, no, it's a, it's, it's a, one. yeah, it's it's a little non traditional. Um, yeah, I think I'm the only person who learned about Namecoin before they learned about Bitcoin. Um, mm. Right. Mm, there you go. How do we keep the momentum going after ETH India? Uh, my naive answer is just to say, well, you know, just give them grants. <laughs> that's the naive answer, and I bet that will probably. 
I, I suspect that will help. But I'm not sure that's quite so okay. So I don't know the answer. So I guess we say, I think from first principles. So what does a community need to keep going? Well, uh, I guess they need social interactions. I guess they need, um, I guess they need to eat. They need to eat. So the grants can help with that. Um, the social interactions. I mean, I, I presume they, they're going to like meet, make friends here and things like that. Actually, okay, actually, there, there are a couple things. Good. I bet these things, actually, I'd be really curious to see if there's any new projects or any new companies or new startups that, that come uh, that come out of this. So you might be like, oh, well, you know, well, we had the, you might say, oh, well, Team A had the, had the winning idea, but, but gosh darn it, Team B really did have the better engineers. So, 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 so maybe Team A can go poach the engineers from Team B, mm. something like that. Mm. Um, you know, what does it need to keep going? Yeah, I think I, I, it's, it's probably just so, actually, I'm curious how many people here are in Bangalore. I'd like to know that. Mm. Yeah, because if they come out from all over India, it's probably going to be hard to keep going because, you know, they're, they're just too spread out. But if, they're, but if it's something like, oh, 80% of the people here are from Bangalore, oh, that's good. That's good. Mm. I, mean, I mean, they can have like a local Ethereum. Actually, there should be a local Ethereum meetup. Is there, is there, is there an, uh, an Ethereum meetup for Bangalore? I, don't, I mean, I, there probably is. I, I actually yeah. don't know, though. I think it's farming. Okay. Um, and you need a shirt. They need a shirt on, yeah. on, on, on swag.ethereum. The, there you the, go. They need a shirt. There yeah, yeah. I, I want people to make me a sh Yeah, so I, I'm trying to make shirts for every uh, main, um, for like for like interesting cities. And even a few joke ones. So I'm working on one. So it's like um, um, uh, Ethereum Vatican City. It's going to be an Ethereum logo with a big Pope hat on it. Mm. You, you know, things like that. There so, yeah. So, so uh, I think it was... Okay. Yeah, I think I have the answer. I think the way to keep this going is to have an Ethereum meetup. Yeah, an Ethereum meetup, and um, and and one or two grants. Yeah, I think I think I think, I think that would cool. do it. It seems like blockchain people are quirky. What's your quirk? What's my quirk? Oh, uh, what's my quirk? What's my quirk? I don't know. I I I do like the rainbows and unicorns. I do mm -hmm. like that. No, I actually no actually no. I will give you a quirk. I have. I don't know if this is a quirk, but it's something that is different. Um. So uh, I'm a I'm a reformist and, and, and not a revolutionary. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I think uh, I usually say if you're if you're doing a revolution, uh, you know if if you get to the point where you have like you know, like like you know like I, I, I say the ideal revolution is where uh, is, is 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 where the, the 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 name on the front of the building stays the same, but the people inside the the people and the ideology inside the building have have flipped or have changed. I say, mm. that's a successful revolution. Mm. And that gets to the point where you have to like, actually topple things. It means you've failed. Or, or it means you've, you've done it poorly. Mm. And, uh, yeah, so, so uh, one quirk for me is that I think, it's, um, I, think, I think a better approach is to reform existing systems rather than, uh, you know, do, some, do, something, do something chaotic. Mm. Yeah, chaotic and crazy, mm. which is actually kind of kind of strange. I mean, I know I say it, but usually when I tell people I work in like work on Ethereum, you know, they say, "Oh, well, it's like well, it's like so disruptive." You know, they say, "Oh, this is so hardcore." They say, "This is this is this is leveling industries," and um, I don't know. I guess I guess it's like where you are, sort of on mm. the on the continuum. I guess one is like maximally reforms would be like you know a banker, and like maximally uh, revolution would be like what a communist activist, something like that. Yeah. Cool. And I guess I guess I'm more on the. Yeah. No, I'm a, I'm a reformist, not a revolutionary. Cool. Thank you so much for your time. Oh sure. Virgil.